It's special to hear these woods echo again with the sounds of children. I mean, you're 40 minutes, 45 minutes from Washington, D.C., and you have this incredible forest, and you can hear the birds singing, and you don't hear the highway. And, uh, it's a little oasis. The history of Prince William Forest Park is really the history of these kids that are here today coming back home, coming here for a purpose and to this place for a purpose that it was originally founded for. Prince William Forest Park is a perfect place for Nature Bridge. We have found it just to be incredibly powerful to bring this place back to life for its intended purpose. We've had a really close working relationship with Prince William Forest Park and it's just been invaluable to making this happen. This is all about partnerships and everybody pulling in the same direction to bring these experiences to more students and teachers. For many of the students, this is a brand new experience. And so walking into these old cabins um, with their friends and their classmates and knowing that this is gonna be their home for the next three days, they're taking on a whole new pace and a whole new sense of what's around them. What's good, guys? Welcome to our cabin. Yeah. I like how you can see the forest, like when you have to wake up. Well, I used to think, oh, it's just the woods, who cares about that? But now I think it's a really beautiful place to go. Dinner is awesome. I think uh, the younger you can instill healthy eating habits in kids, the, it, takes, it takes hold in them and then use it the rest of their lives. But once the students actually arrived, and experience what they have gone through for the last three days. It's been an incredible experience in such a positive way. We have two schools here who've had this experience and the feedback is phenomenal. I think students have come to realize that there's a big world inside the classroom. What they learn in the classroom really does happen. It's not a picture in a book, Karen. I'd rather be out here to learn science than in the classroom because it's easier to learn in an environment where you know what you're talking about and yeah, you can feel and stuff. touch it and you're just not stuck in the classroom reading a textbook. Watching my kids walk off trail with the assignment of find one thing to choose to observe, describe it in your journal and do it silently. And they did. And then we came back together and what they had written was thoughtful and focused and detailed. I haven't seen that in the classroom. These are experiences these children will have for the rest of their lives. <laughs> these camps are kind of sad uh, without the kids, but the kids back here bring them back to life. And uh, the excitement you see in those kids' eyes, they don't want to go home, they want to stay. And, uh, and that, that really revitalizes these places.